All right, welcome back you guys. Day 27 of the Warbots Te May Painting Challenge in June. I'm gonna see what the, today's question was. Uh, the week four wrap up. Okay, so I'm, not, I'm gonna kind of ignore the day 27 and day 28 questions because I I kind of went over. I'm going into June now, right? But I do wanna show you these five Terminators and you can really see when I'm holding them up in front of the, the camera, I guess you can't really tell, but when, when you see them under the light like this, they really do pop nicely. And you can really tell that when you take the time to do a triad uh, technique with the colors, that's basically taking three colors in successive applications and highlighting your models. You can really see how they make the model type shape. I mean, if you take a look at these models just by themselves, they look like a lot of red. You know, with you see a little bit of the silver there, but it looks like a lot of red with, with bits of silver and purple. Taking the triad color scheme or technique means using two successive highlighting colors to bring out the edges. And when you apply those to the edges of the armor, you really are able to define, like I'm really happy with how the mask turned out. I'm really happy with how the shoulder blades, shoulder pads turned out. And um, the, you can tell the shape of the power fist here. You can see the outlines on the, uh, the hip pads, the feet there, you can, the back. Oh, hello, no towel head. You can really see where the uh, model's lines are. And that's really, really important. Being able to tell where a model, uh, where a component on a model begins and ends is, is so important. Using blue as a spot color was also something that I made sure that I did. And for here, the Space Marine, Space Marine helmet that's on this guy's back ornamentation, the trophy, I decided to go with a party girl's helmet. The fluff for this army, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but the client kind of named each of the squads and their breakdowns as to what they were. And most of them were... Uh, the party girls themselves are these ones with in the in the purple armor, you know, with the with the designer designer uh, brand on the shoulder pads and stuff, iconography. But uh, he called these guys the Terminators. He called them the exes, like the ex-boyfriends or the ex-girlfriends. So I decided <laughs> that this one would be very very angry to have broken up with his party girl. So he decided to take their helmet and pop it on there. I love the Reaper Otter. Auto cannon that the Chaos Terminators get. They just look so beefy and crazy. Uh, okay, moving on. I'm, so, like I said, I'm going to be continuing to to do this wrap up for for all of the days of the month, just so that I have them in my playlist. I definitely went over my obligation, my commitment into the month of June. I there's no way that I could stick to May and be able to do all of my work uh, for school and and handle everything that I needed to handle. So I, I went into, I did bleed over into June, but um, I'm really happy that I was able to finish this commission and get so far into the other commissions, which I'll show you. I'm also doing, besides the party girls wrapping up, I'm also doing Iron Hands. And I've got a good Iron Hand commission, the Giant Orc commission, which I'm also getting working my way through the highlights for that. And a Chaos Space Marines uh, characters commission, as well as a Dark Eldar Venom group of Venoms, which is just fantastic. So I'll show you guys how all of that is progressing. But um, I'm really, really pleased with with each of my each of my projects and how they're all turning out. And uh, specifically, though, I mean, I'm really let me get as close as I can. I'm really happy with the helmets. Sorry. Still a little bit blurry. There we go. I'm really happy with the helmets and how they turned out. This camera is so great. I'm going to really love doing my uh, new tutorials on them. But yeah, you can see that when you, when you highlight up the contours of the helmets, it really brings everything into shape. So um, yeah, happy with that. Look at that conversion too. Isn't that awesome? The missile rack on the back of his armor. All right, the last guy I'm going to show you for the Terminators, the X's, is this old, <laughs> this old Games Workshop uh, metal model. It was all in metal. It was so much fun to paint, and really, I had a great time with it. There's just something about having metal models that make them feel like really, you know, they have weight and substance to them. 
And plastic models are great for conversions and bringing out the artistry and, and doing, doing that kind of stuff. But I think for painting, there's just something about putting paint on a metal model that I really, really enjoy. I think this is plastic though. This is from the Chaos Space Marines kit. All right, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned tomorrow. We're gonna take a look at some cultists.